Okay, so I've just been introduced to a company called Pragmatic Semiconductor. And the way they spell, or the way they write Pragmatic is with the IC capitalised. So Pragmat IC. Um, most semiconductor vendors have a silicon wafer. Uh, and they, you build the semiconductor, the transistors, the logic gates directly onto the silicon. Uh, with Pragmatic IC, they have glass wafers. This is a really, really thin 8 inch glass wafer. Uh, and they put a very thin layer of plastic on the top. And then they image the semiconductors, the logic gates, and everything uh, as thin film transistors. Uh, this process is uh, compatible with all standard EDA tools. They have a standard cell library. Uh, so you can pass our, use RTL, create, create a design as normal, um, build your not silicon chips, plastic chips really, uh, and then once they're built you just peel them off. So this is the same sheet peeled off the wafer and the reason they keep the cost down is they can reuse the glass wafer over and over and over again. Uh, and so these are all little integrated circuits but very flexible. So there's a tremendous range of applications that you can use these for. Uh, the turnaround is days or weeks to get a new spin of the ICs back if you want to make changes. Um, like I say, they've got a standard cell library. It's digital at the moment, but they've got a roadmap to add analog functionality and everything. Uh, they also uh, have the ability to add RFID to it, so you can uh, power it from an external uh, EM source. Uh, and they're also planning on uh, maybe implementing a 4-bit microcontroller. Uh, and guess who has a 4-bit microcontroller design ready to rock and roll? So before long you might see the Heath Robinson Rube Goldberg 4-bit MCU implemented on Pragmatic Semiconductor's thin film process.